Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLS walk around and review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLS Class starting at $82,950. With three spacious rows of seats, the 2023 GLS Class is an SUV that can allow the whole family to experience Mercedes-level luxury while rewarding its driver with surprising agility. The entry-level engine is a 362-horsepower turbocharged inline-six that's eerily smooth and plenty powerful, but if you want more go the GLS 580 swaps the 6 for a twin-turbo V8 with 483 ponies. Of course, fuel economy takes a nosedive with the big motor. All models come with all-wheel drive and an adjustable air suspension. The ride is smooth when you want it to be, but setting the drive mode selector to sport brings taut body control not found in rivals such as the Land Rover Range Rover and the Lincoln Navigator. Mercedes has dropped a ton of tech features into the GLS's cabin, including a massive dual-display dashboard that digitizes pretty much everything from the SUV's gauges to its infotainment system. Despite the almost over-reliance on screens the GLS's controls are fairly easy to use while driving, which we reckon most buyers will appreciate. What's new for 2023? The GLS class receives two minor alterations for 2023. The GLS 450 now comes with metallic paint and all models now ship with a panoramic sunroof as a standard feature. The GLS 450's turbocharged inline-six provides plenty of power and is just as smooth as the GLS 580's V8, so we'd stick with that and put the extra dough towards some options. The Executive Rear Seat Plus package turns the second row into a Sybarite zone with massaging seats, a wireless smartphone charging pad, a tablet controller for the GLS's infotainment system, and plusher headrests. It also ups the safety level with side impact airbags. Ordering that package requires that you shell out for leather upholstery, which, surprisingly, isn't standard. Engine, transmission, and performance. Two models are offered, the 6-cylinder GLS 450 and the 8-cylinder GLS 580, and both feature some hybridization. The GLS 450's turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six is smooth as polished granite and good for 362 horsepower. The GLS 580 is far more powerful, making 483 horsepower from its twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8. At our test track, the GLS 450 managed a brisk 5.5-second run to 60 mph and stopped from 70 mph in a short 154 feet. Despite its size, the GLS class is easy to hustle on a twisty road, but it's not overly sporty. All models come standard with an air suspension, but Mercedes also offers a trick system called e-active body control. It utilizes a forward-facing camera to scan for bumps and adjusts the suspension accordingly so riders will feel less of the road's imperfections. It's a cool technology but expensive, and we think most buyers will find the standard setup does a fine job. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo Borrowing its dashboard and cockpit layout from the similarly new GLE class SUV, this generation of GLS is far more modern than the one it replaces. It'll fit up to seven passengers but can be specced for six with the optional captain's chairs. Passenger space is generous in the first and second rows, and the third row, while not as spacious as the second, can accommodate an adult without too much complaining, something that can't be said of the way back in the X7. Fuel Economy and Real-World MPG The EPA fuel economy estimates for the GLS class aren't great. The GLS 450 earns 18 miles per gallon in the city, 23 miles per gallon on the highway, and 20 miles per gallon combined. The GLS 580 does worse, with 16 miles per gallon, 21 miles per gallon, and 18 miles per gallon, respectively. In our real-world testing, the GLS 450 performed a little better than its rating, managing 24 miles per gallon on our 75 miles per hour highway test. 